Hi, I'm Julianne Cost. The most common ways to zoom in and out on an image in Photoshop can all be found under the View menu. Command Plus on Mac or Control Plus on Windows will zoom in, while Command Minus on Mac or Control Minus on Windows will zoom out. Command Plus 1 on Mac or Control Plus 1 on Windows will display an image at 100%, which is also referred to as viewing an image one-to-one. -one. Command 0 on Mac or Control 0 on Windows will display an image as large as possible on the monitor while still seeing the entire image. But Photoshop has several additional ways to zoom that are really useful. Let's start with Animated and Scrubby Zoom. I'll tap Z to select the Zoom tool. Then click and hold in the image to zoom in continuously. If I hold the Option key on Mac or the Alt key on Windows, I can zoom out. To use Scrubby Zoom, make sure that the option is enabled in the Options bar, then click and drag to the left to zoom out and drag to the right to zoom in. Another way to zoom is using Bird's Eye View. Using this method, I don't have to have the Zoom tool selected. When zoomed into an image, press and hold down the H key. The cursor will temporarily swap to the hand tool. Click and hold the mouse down in the image, and the image will zoom out to fit in window, and it will display a zoom rectangle overlay. Drag the zoom rectangle over the desired location, and then release the mouse cursor. The image will zoom to that rectangular area. Then you can release the H key to return to the previously selected tool. The Navigator panel also has several ways to zoom. You can enter in the zoom percentage. You can drag the slider. Click on the zoom in or zoom out icons. You can drag the rectangle in the preview area. Or you can command drag on Mac or control drag on Windows in the thumbnail of the preview over the area that you want to zoom into. Photoshop also has options to zoom all windows. I'll use Window and then Arrange to tile my open documents. Then we can return to the menu and choose to match the zoom as well as match location across open documents. Then I'll select the zoom tool by tapping Z enable Zoom All Windows in the Options bar, and now when I click in an image, we can zoom all open documents at once. If I add the Option key on Mac or the Alt key on Windows, I can zoom out. Now if you don't want the Zoom All Windows option enabled all of the time, we can uncheck it, then press the Shift key to temporarily enable the Zoom All Windows feature. We can add the Option key or the Alt key on Windows to zoom out. Finally, we can quickly zoom to the contents of a layer. I'll choose Window, Arrange, and Consolidate the Windows to Tabs, and then select the multi-layer document. I'll hold Option on the Mac or Alt on Windows, and click to the right of the layer name to zoom in to the contents of that layer. This shortcut will also work for layer groups. One thing to note, if multiple layers are selected, Option or Alt clicking on a layer first deselects the other layers. Then if you Option or Alt click a second time, it will zoom to that layer's contents. I'm Julianne Cost. Thanks for watching.